I don't know who needs to hear this, but I want to talk about the power of crock pot timing. That's it for today's edition of Faithful Fridays, the power of crock pot timing. You know how it is when you put something in the crock pot, right? You don't need it right away. And you know that it's going to take time for it to get ready. So that's why you put it in before the start of your workday. And by the time that you finish or you arrive home, boom, it's going to be ready to go. Well, sometimes God puts us in the crock pot. Here we are October 1st. And you may have been struggling with something or waiting on God, maybe even since the top of the year. So here we are, month 10, you're still waiting, probably getting antsy. Well, I want you to shift your focus, your perspective. I talked about that earlier this week, reframe, reshift, refocus. And maybe God needs you to simmer a while longer because that's what happens in a crock pot, right? You put it on low heat for several hours and it simmers and it takes time, but eventually it's ready. So I want you to remember that, that maybe God has you in the crock pot and that can be difficult because I don't know about you, but I, uh, patience is a virtue. It's one of my character flaws. I'm still working on it, <laughs> learning to be more patient, right? And it doesn't help that we really live in a microwave society where you can get everything quick, 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 quick. Uber Eats, you know, Postmates, DoorDash brings the food right to you. Two day shipping with Amazon Prime. You can make a mobile order and then by the time you get to your Starbucks or wherever you're picking up your food, it's ready. You don't have to do a lot of waiting. Hey, when you wanna have your food ready, super fast. You put it in the microwave, but sometimes you need to be in the crock pot and that's what God does. But I want you to remember that he's got you. Isaiah 60, 22 reminds us when he says, when the time is right, I, the Lord will make it happen. Not you, not me, not be Mac, but the Lord will make it happen. You just have to be content to simmer in your current season, just a little while longer. So I want you to remember that and, and know that this, that this waiting, this simmering is preparation, not punishment. I know that you're in your now and you're ready to move into your next, but God already knows what's coming next. And so he wants to make sure that you are ready, that you're fully cooked, if you will, to take on what's next. So remember that. Also remember Romans 8, 28. All things are working together for your good. He's got you. It's working for your good. The simmering is for your good, as is the crock pot timing. Okay? That's it for this edition of Faithful Fridays. You know what? If you feel like you're going to need this reminder, bookmark it so you can come back to it. Save the post. Tag somebody in the comments who needs to see it. Share it. If this really resonated with you, the power of crock pot timing. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.